Welcome back, everyone. Today we will be talking about the eighth chapter of Chojin X by Sui Ishida. But before we jump into this chapter, I would appreciate it if you liked, subscribed, shared, and left any criticisms you have for me or this channel in the comments section. Also, it was announced that Chojin X will be running weekly in Young Jump, which is kind of worrying, not gonna lie. I think we all know what happened near the end of Tokyo Ghoul's manga, and how rushed it was due to Ishida's stress during the final arc. So I really hope that Shueisha gives him a break when he needs one. Alright, so this chapter was pretty good as we got to learn more about the Yamato Mori organization, as well as what a Chojin license actually is. Now, to start off, this chapter is titled My Benefit. The chapter opens up with Tokyo's sister yelling at him about how someone got in contact with her and told her that he was a key witness for a secret agent. Tokyo's teacher also yells at him, saying the same thing. We then cut to the roof of the school and we see Tokyo talking to Azuma about what happened recently. Azuma then brings up Yamato Mori as an organization for Chojin by Chojin. Tokyo then questions Azuma if he's heard of them. Then Azuma said he has from the news and in the papers. Azuma then says sorry to Tokyo for yelling at him and not helping him earlier. Tokyo then says that he thinks he was right and that he does always lean on him, and that thanks to him he was able to step up for once. Next, we see Tokyo heading to Yamato Mori to register for a Chojin license. We then meet two new characters named Simon Kagomura and Maiko Momoma, along with Ellie waiting for him at the bus stop. We then learn that to get a license, Tokyo and Ellie will have to take a 40-day course on Chojin and will have to take a brief test to get their licenses. Tokyo then asks if he will be an agent thingy like Mr. Kagomura, who we met in the last chapter and got a name earlier, and the two new characters. Kagomura then gives Tokyo a brief summary of his job and asks him if that's what he wants, then he says both him and Ellie will receive a Class B registration. We then learn about the class system and how they work. Someone with a Class A registration can use their abilities for research or the betterment of society. Class B registrations can only be used for helping others and in case they randomly discharge by accident. Maiko then states that Chojin powers come out by accident because the powers are influenced by the emotion of the Chojin. After learning that Maiko can toss a tree, we then cut to a classic Japanese-style room with Sandak questioning Tokyo and Ellie. He first asks the two of them what they consider to be good and evil. We will skip Tokyo's answers because of how basic they are. However, Ellie's answer to what she considers to be good is interesting, being quoted to live comfortably. She then says murder for the evil question. The other three questions are more interesting. The first of these three was who are your allies? For this question, Tokyo says Azuma and Ellie says her grandpa and the other farmers. The next question was who is your enemy? Ellie states that the smoke man is the first person she can think of. However, in the panel before it, we see Tokyo question if Nari is his enemy or not, relating back to the test as we still don't know why Johnny wanted Nari to test him. Then we get to the last question, Sandak asks the two of them, which was, How do you hope to benefit from your lives? Or, as he rephrased to Tokyo later, What is your dream? Ellie starts off by saying money, as most of her dreams will come true with money other than getting in a relationship with Sandak, which she thinks about and doesn't mention. Sandak then asks Tokyo what his dream is. Tokyo then questions this as he doesn't actually have a dream. We then cut to the bus stop as we see Ellie questioning Tokyo about why he didn't answer Sandak's question about his dream and asks him what's the point in living if he doesn't have one. She then goes back on this by saying you don't need a dream to live but she's just curious. He then says he doesn't have any dreams and gets on the bus to go home. Finally, we learn via the news that the fight with Nari caused a lot of animals to escape from the zoo and that a Chojin organization is currently recovering them, but we don't know if this is Yamato Mori or not. On the last page of this chapter, we see two new agents, one being a female with the ability to make little paper animals, I think, and the other one being an octopus man. 
as well as Tokyo asking his sister what her dream is. With that being said, I have to say that this chapter was pretty good. We learned quite a bit about Yamato Mori, and I'm happy that we learned about registration, as I was curious about what that was in the last chapter. The pace of this chapter was really good, as I think that when the Nari segments were being released, the pacing of each chapter was really slow, and not that good except for the last one. For the next chapter, I hope we get more info on the new agents introduced at the end of this, along with some basic training or something. As always, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.